Welcome to day five. Get through this workout, have a good weekend, continue to go through every single workout like it is gonna make a difference in your life, because if you do, it actually will. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start this workout with some cardio. So we're gonna go high knees for 30 seconds and then side to side jumps for 30 seconds. We're gonna do this workout three times. So we'll start high knees, knees all the way up nice and smooth. And if you can't run like Cassidy is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna march. Feet up, feet down, just like that. Right when that clock on your screen switches to 30 seconds, the other 30 seconds is we're gonna go side to side hops like we have been doing. Jump over the line, loose arms, good rhythm, pop those feet side to side. Great job. Rest. We're gonna go through that three times. Our next round has to do with getting them up to the ground, and then we're gonna to go to a curl to press. We're gonna do this three times. We're gonna do 30 seconds of get ups, and then we're gonna do another 30 seconds of curl to press. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down on our back. I want you to get up without arms if you can. So cross your arms across your chest, go ahead and get up. Not as easy as it looks. Figure out a way to stand up, cross your legs, push up off the ground, and get back down with no arms. It's a lot harder than it looks. Now if you can, go ahead and use your arms if you can't do that. So now this time use your arms, push up off the ground, get to a figure four position, push up off the ground again, up to your feet, and back down. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Good job. Our next exercise is a curl to press. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, like I said. So again, pinkies forward. We're gonna curl, we're gonna rotate, we're gonna press, we're gonna go down, we're gonna rotate again, and curl down. Up, rotate, press, down, rotate, down. Up, rotate, press, down, rotate, down. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Try to go a heavier weight than you did the week before. Add some intent and some passion behind the movement to actually make a change. The next series of workouts we're gonna go through three times. You have a single arm glute bridge press, then you're going right to a seated bent over fly, and then we have seated extensions. Now the seated extensions or the standing single leg extensions, you're gonna be doing 25 reps each leg. The bent over flies you will be doing for 15 seconds and the top movement you'll be 15 seconds each arm. So we'll go ahead and sit down on our butt. Heels come under ourselves. get into that glute bridge position which we should be pretty comfortable in now. And we're gonna press with one arm. All the way through those hips, those hips are imagined going through the ceiling, those toes are pulled up in the shoe, we're going up and we're going down. 15 seconds each arm. Rest. This is a new exercise. As we get more and more in depth, we're gonna add more and more new exercises. So we'll add some weight. We have a seated bend over fly. Like I said, we'll be doing this for 15 seconds. She's gonna bend over, let her head relax. The dumbbells go underneath her legs and she's gonna try to go straight out as she can. Good. Get your knuckles forward right here. Good job. All the way out, really work in the middle part of that back and the shoulder blades. The stronger your upper back is, the stronger that lower back becomes. Good, rest. Our last sequence of events is we're doing 25 reps each leg of a single leg extension. This movement is what helped me with my bulging and herniated disc. Really helped my lower back teach it how to recontract and flexion and extension. So what I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna ground one foot as hard as I can into the ground. Now all I'm gonna do is go out and pull in. Extend out, pull in. Quad, hamstring, quad, hamstring. Now if your knee hurts or your back hurts or your hip hurts, I might only be able to start with putting your hand down on a table and then barely getting any movement at all. That's okay, that's a great place to start. We're doing 25 reps each leg. Put focus and intent behind it and don't rush through this process. Our last superset of day five. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna do 30 seconds of lateral raises. It's gonna burn. If you can't use weight, don't use it. We're gonna go through this three times. Our last thing we have is our rainbow 
med ball slam to a middle med ball slam. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds total, three rounds. So the first one is our lateral raise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go straight out. I'm gonna pull with those pinkies, so go ahead and go. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, all the way up, all the way down. We're pulling from the middle of our shoulder, really starting to work also the middle of our back and our scapula, teaching it to depress and compress. All the way up, all the way down, 30 seconds. Great job. What I want you to notice from the side is how she's not at her hip. The dumbbell's actually at a 45 degree angle going out, not going straight out here, but more of a 45 to stay out of that trap. We don't want you guys to have big traps and rest. It is that time of the week again. Turn the music up, tell the kids to leave the house. It's time to take out some frustration and some anger. We have a med ball slam. We're going left, right, in the middle, for 30 seconds. We ready? So she's gonna go left, right, middle. Left, right, middle. This works great with the pillow. Left, right, middle. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Left, right, middle for 30 seconds. Repeat this three times, and I promise you, if you do these workouts, you're gonna continue to improve, you're gonna continue to feel better, and have more energy. Thanks for staying with us.